Hey, honey. Hmm? Can we talk? Sure. What's up? I was just thinking, and, uh, do you want to have kids? Oh, where did this come from? What's on your mind? I was just thinking, I guess. We're at that age where we should come to a decision, right? <sighs> right. I agree. I mean, do you want kids? I don't know. I mean, on one hand, kids are such a handful, but... But they can also be, like, the most important thing in a parent's life. But, right! That's exactly what I was about to say. Then again, the world is crazy out there. <laughs> you can say that again. With everything going on, it's a dangerous world out there. It's true. Plus, if we didn't have kids, you and I can focus on our goals and each other. Do you think we're, you know, ready? To be honest, I don't think so. <sighs> yeah, you're right. M maybe we shouldn't have kids. Yeah, like we'd make good parents anyway. We are way too irresponsible. We could never be good parents, not with the way you drink. <laughs> exactly. So, it's decided then? Yeah. Yeah, I guess it's decided. We don't want kids. All right, you heard her. Get the fuck out of here on the double. Hey, sweetie. Do you think we're ready for a dog? Sealing outer hull. Begin pressurization procedure. Captain, we've got a problem. We're taking on space. We gotta plug that hole, man, or else this vessel will fill with space and drag us down to David Bowie's locker. I've got this. Benson, you gotta stay afloat. Grab onto this. All right, men, this cabin is nearly half full with space, and we don't have much time. We gotta bail some of this space out if we're gonna have any chance at all! Ugh. It's no use. The space is rushing in faster than we can bail. I can't just stay here and drown. I'm gonna swim for it. I'll get help! I'll come back for you! I'll bring help! Motor's dead, Captain. We're never gonna get to Mars at this rate. Yes, we are, goddammit. Now get out the oars and row. Row up, row to Mars. Oh, shit. Gives me a great idea! Hmm... How am I going to create my legacy? Take this upstairs instead. Yeah, let's go. Is this more of what you had in mind? This isn't even my house! Okay, breathe in. It's the craziest thing, Doc. And out. I put a mouse up my ass, you know, on account of how it feels good. 
And in again. But after a few minutes, he stopped scrambling around, so I sent my cat in after him. And out. So an hour goes by and my cat's still up there, and I start to get worried. I mean, one more dead mouse in my butt, that's no big deal, but that cat? God, I love that little guy. Plus, he's technically my mom's cat, so... Look over my left shoulder. So I offer to take my neighbor's dog for a walk. And once more over my right shoulder. So I put a few slices of ham and some spicy mustard on the old bee hole and <laughs> sure is shooting, he took the bait. Now, I want you to follow the light. I was hoping the dog would like cause a ruckus and scare my cat into coming out. No such luck. He was up there going bonkers for what seemed like hours, but no cat. Anyway, my neighbor kept asking for his dog back and I was running out of excuses, so. Let me get a look in those ears. That's when I called animal control. Well, two of their best guys went in the old back door around dinner time, and since then I ain't heard as much as a peep. Which makes me worry about the chicks I put up there earlier. I mean the baby chickens, not the three hot girls. So what seems to be the problem? Oh, I got a little uh, tickle on my throat. Here's a prescription for some cough drops. Thanks, Doc. <laughs> your story, Rose. Take us back. I met the love of my life on that vessel. A young boy by the name of Jack. I beat that bitch 52 to 2! Uh. Okay, listen up, kids. Today we're going to be doing an obstacle course. Now we're all going to take turns, all right? <laughs> What's so funny, Brian? <laughs> I think Susie should go first. <laughs> Brian, that is not called for. No, it's fine. I'll go first. Oh, Susie, you don't have to. I got this. I went first. Oh, oh yeah? Well, well watch this! I'm sorry, you'll never walk again. Oh, man! Ha-ha! <laughs> His legs don't work no more! This won't hurt a bit. Almost there. And that should do it. Back on your own two legs. <laughs> so to speak. I don't know. It seems a little outdated. Nonsense. 
That's the finest mahogany, double coated with sealant, guaranteed against termites for five years. Well, okay, I guess. Uh, off you go. Whoa. Whoa. Oh, Doc, this just seems a little extreme for a broken bone. Well, you should have told me that before you regained consciousness. It's a little too late now. I... Uh... This is real old world craftsmanship, pal. Now get out of here, buddy. Go enjoy your new legs. Uh, uh... There you go, right as rain. Some of my best work, if I do say so myself. I... I, I can't live like this, Doctor. I, I just can't. I can't do it. There is another option. I have to be honest with you. What I'm about to suggest isn't legal in this state, and I could lose my medical license, or even go to prison. But I believe no one should have to suffer. Please, Doctor. Anything. Thanks, little hotshot. Clive, be careful out there. Kilgore's the deadliest bull since Tokyo Pete in 91. Don't worry, doll. Nothing I can't handle. Bull riding's what I do. Introducing six-time bull riding champion and devoted father and husband, Clive McFlogan!
alive, uh, miraculously. But I don't think it's a good idea to... Ma'am, ma'am, please, no! And what can I get for you, sir? Straight coffee and make it quick. I'm sorry? Ah, excuse me. I can be a real jerk until I've had my coffee. Nobody move! I said nobody fucking move or I'll fucking end you! Put it all in the bag! No! I said now! Do it! No, 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 no! The beans! Put all the beans in the bag! <laughs> I'm sorry. I could be a real jerk until I get my coffee. Ah, I need that coffee shit for brains! I need it! Stop! Please stop! Uh, do you guys need your morning coffee? No thanks. We already got ours. <laughs> Hey, Teach, get the molasses out of your ass and bring me that juice, will ya? You one mile an hour walking no running ass feet dragging turtle son of a bitch. Now, Rudy, you can't go your entire life insulting people like that. The hell I can't, you bitch ass toupee wearing fish eye two year college degree earning no wife or kids having must sustain on his shirt, kindergarten teaching ass, diploma hand in dress wearing funny hat ass, first generation in your family to graduate college ass, love at first sight ass, three sugars, two creams and a coffee, first date half romantically compatible ass, independent woman, big titty, make me the happiest man in the world ass, love of my life ass, till death do us part, I do vowing, ring wearing, tiny embryonic ass, no fingerprints having, third trimester son of a beautiful ass, umbilical cord cutting, little dick having, bitch ass, no baseball catching, sumo cum laude, straight A's, making me proud ass, cats in the cradle ass, first grandchild ass, life begets life ass, diaper full of shit stinking, hutching ass, surrounded by my loved one's ass wouldn't change a goddamn thing, making me cry ass, motherfucking ready for death ass. Me. Shit. Wow, I, I can't believe he actually did it. He was rude his whole life. Did you know my grandpa? <sighs> he called me a bitch. Weird senile ass prune juice drinking ass mustard stain on his shirt. Yeah, graves already, sir. Great. <laughs> Ooh. Disrespectful orange picking ass, grave defiling. 